Sunday and we are headed to Flagler Beach because today is the day that I am going to perform a sand ceremony with Val's marriage ceremony for a girl that I work with and her fiance. It's going to be fun. I'm a little bit nervous because I didn't really rehearse it because I know that I'm going to just be reading it and I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't really, I guess I could have like read it over and over and over again, but I'm sure I'll probably still stutter over the words or speak too fast or something bad. But, uh, and I'm not wearing makeup because I was going to put it on in the car and I forgot it. So hopefully I won't look too bad and ruin their pictures if they even have me in a picture. Ooh, fresh produce, Dan. But we're on our way into Flagler Beach right now, and I saw a squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> There's like a big produce stand on the side of the road. I want to go to it now. But we are in Flagler Beach. Flagler Beach. This is the town of Flagler Beach. Uh, Publix as is obligatory in every place that has a population of more than 20 people in Florida. And this is the road coming into Flagler Beach. We're stopping at the A1A Motel, which is like right on the ocean, and we're gonna meet up with the people that I'm gonna be marrying there. And from there, I'm guessing the whole group is gonna walk to the beach where we're actually gonna do it. I don't really think much of it's gonna get filmed or, or anything, but just because it's like, it's not my wedding ceremony, you know, it's theirs. But I don't know. We might film like just like a minute of it. They'll be they'll be okay with it, and we'll put up just like a minute of it, and that's it. But I'll take some shots of the beach. And that big expanse of blue out there, my friends, is the ocean. My absolute favorite place on the planet. Cause like not very far ahead of us is the end of the road and it just drops in into a quarter the sea. mile turn right onto a one a scenic and historic coastal sea. byway south ocean shore boulevard there you go now you know where we are we're heading to ocean shore boulevard but yeah okay now i can't really see it but straight up ahead was the ocean love is a force more formidable than any other it cannot be seen or measured yet it is powerful enough to transform you in a moment and offer you more joy than any material possession. But although this love will be you together as one, remember the gift of your gift as well. I didn't think I really needed to say anything. I just wanted to get some ocean in the background. Ooh, there's a boat. Somebody on their yacht way out there. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. I love the beach. I want to live here. Somebody trying to surf over on the side. Okay, so that was the wedding. It's getting kind of dark right now. Well, it's like a little couple minutes after five and the sun's starting to go down, so I don't know how well light is gonna hold up. But we are going to ride up the A1A coastal road here and drive up into St. Augustine because I've never been there and I wanna see it and I wanna check it out. So if we have enough light to be able to show some things around St. Augustine, we're going to. I talked to a couple of St. Augustine locals at work the other day and they said that it looks really pretty at night, especially as it's decorated out for Christmas and everything. So we're gonna go check it out. And uh, if I can show you some stuff, I will. Oh, 
in that wedding, I was like super nervous and I was afraid I was gonna mess up and I did, but they all said that it was fine and I'll just take their word for it that it was good because I didn't want to ruin their special day. But I think all they cared about was just getting married so that they were done and married and it was over. I'm gonna show you the ocean. Oh. Yeah, and then, okay, so there's these boats out on the water, and I can't, oh, there's a construction wall, so now I can't show anything. But there's like four or five of them, and if my camera could zoom without going completely blurry. So yeah, so that black speck right there, that is a total blur, is a boat that has some very unique features on it. And there's like four or five of them out here, and I kind of want to know if anybody knows what kind of boats they are. Because I don't. But they're very obviously something, unless they're like Coast Guard boats or something, but... Anyway, they're interesting, and I'd kind of like to know what they are. I'm gonna have to look it up, I guess. This time of year, probably not too bad. Right? <laughs> he was going through hoops and sky riding. <laughs> yeah, but you guys missed it because I don't know how to use a camera. No, like I have to zoom really far out to get any kind of focus and so these houses that are like 100 yards away look like they're half a mile away. Because I try bringing them in any closer and the camera just gets all blurry. Like, I don't know what the problem is. Now, if that's a house and not like a business or something, that triangle shaped one, I wouldn't be all keen on that. Like, I think that unique arch architecture is like really cool and all, but I don't know, maybe it's just like beach rentals or an office or something. Maybe it belongs to the park rangers. Fishing along the road, this is cool. That would be fun. Just going fishing right on the side of the road here. Chairs.
slightly southern Florida style here, a lot of the terracotta roofs and stuff, but other than that, it all looks pretty much the same. And it's clearly winter, because not everything is green right now. A lot of these beach houses and plots of land are for sale though, let's just whip out our checkbook. That one. we're getting into St. Augustine where it's like one of the oldest settlements in the country. say because everybody's so excited about Anastasia now being part of the Disney company since um, Walt Disney's acquired Century 21 Fox um, and everybody's like ooh now Anastasia's gonna officially be a Disney princess because she's always mistaken for a Disney princess and supposedly there was some DNA work done or whatever in Anastasia to prove that she was actually royalty okay I completely missed the boat on that one. I don't think I've ever even seen Anastasia. What am I missing here? Christmas lights. Squirrel. <laughs> In 1,000 feet, turn right onto A Street. Okay. We don't really know where we're going. We're just driving into St. Augustine now. It's getting kind of dark, which is a bummer, but there's turn a bunch right of here. Oh, okay. We're gonna end up like at a dead end right on the ocean. Probably. Yeah. We will. All right. Neighborhood in St. Augustine. Lucky. Oop. A Yoda. A Yoda in a Christmas Santa outfit. All right. So we're now we're coming across the historical sites in St. Augustine. There's the lighthouse. It's way out ahead of us. Like not way out. I can see it. But of course the camera. There's like a light shining kind of in the sky. That's the lighthouse even though I can't really focus on it. as I saw in New England were kind of shrimpy, but I think lighthouses are cool. Yeah. That's a nifty looking place. It's one way to do it. Jesus. I know there's going to be traffic. Crazy, crazy traffic. What are you doing? You don't have any light? It's too bad, like, all I'm getting are the brake lights. I wish I could filter that out somehow so that I could get the lights that are on these trees a little bit better. I can see them now, but... Yeah, this is crazy. Beeping at you go, you got you go. right there. Like you got a lane. He needed my lane, that's what it was. He's in my lane. Mm, that's not your problem. <laughs> oh I know. I just it's <laughs> funny how 
tempo we were just talking about this earlier yeah. they can't get into the first Boom. lane they gotta get over they gotta make other people the suffer for it yeah. yep there are crosswalk people the kookaburra turn left onto st george street oh well i don't think we're gonna be doing that but oh look at their stained glass windows in that church Cathedral of St. Augustine. Crazy. Yeah, this is definitely cool. Go ahead. Wow. Is there something going on tonight? Like, there is way more people than I would have expected to see on a Sunday night. <laughs> a week before Christmas, there's got to be like some. A lot of another church right there with more stained glass. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to find a place to park and get out and walk around. There's just people everywhere. But yeah, we'll definitely have to do this again. It's a touristy yeah, place. super touristy apparently. There's a lot of neat looking stuff around here though. Governor's house. Left or right, whatever way you want to go, I'll let you turn left. Decide. Find our way out of here. Take the next left onto Cordova Street, then turn left onto King Street. Oh, a trolley. Oh, I've got like. Oh my god, people are crazy. <laughs> They're still. Mm -hmm. Still walking. Crosswalks. Take the next <laughs> right onto St. Yeah, George Street, the then turn left onto I appreciate the blinker. Right? <laughs> Okay, this is definitely cool. Grand Take Bohemian Gallery. Do like a weekend here or something. Mm -hmm, that'd be fun. Governor's that'd House be and Cultural Center and Museum. You can hear church bells ringing. Maybe park at a hotel and then be able to just walk, walk over. over yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this does remind me of Charleston a lot, actually. Yeah, so I'm going to have to agree with Courtney on that one. St. Augustine reminds me a lot of Charleston. And, oh, there we go. Now I can see the trees a little bit here without too many taillights in the way. With this little square in front of the church. See, that is way awesome. I love that. Looks really cool. Thank you. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. So, a lot more touristy than I expected, but I like touristy things, so, yeah. And St. Augustine is so, like, historical since this town was founded in 1565, and it's, like, one of the oldest in America, and there's not a lot of history that old in America, and I am a history buff, and I like to check it out and see what kind of museums they got here and see inside the churches and the old buildings and everything that are around here, so we'll definitely have to make a trip back up here for the weekend or something so that we can see more. Um, I figured since we were only like a half an hour, 30 minute, 30 miles or whatever away since we were in Flagler Beach for that. Uh, right. Beaches South is what you want. So I figured since we were here, check it out. Since we were so close by, um, not really stopping here to do anything, but yeah. So we got a little bit of St. Augustine out of the day. So wow, productive day. Everybody have a good night.